Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From shipwrecks worth billions of dollars to ancient villages preserved by the sea, here are nine of the most amazing underwater treasures found by divers. Number 9. Captain Kidd's Treasure Captain Kidd once hunted pirates for a living, but turned to the dark side in the late 1600s, attacking merchant vessels in the Caribbean and reaching as far as Madagascar. He had a fearsome reputation and terrorized the seas until he was finally captured and sentenced to death in 1701. There were a number of accounts of the treasure he collected during his piracy and stories of where he hid it. In 2015, researchers announced the discovery of what they believed to be some of his treasure in a sunken ship off the coast of Madagascar. In what's thought to be the wreck of his ship, the Adventure Galley, divers found a 107-pound silver bar. The bar itself has been traced to 17th century Bolivia, and the ship has all the hallmarks of one built in England. If, as researchers suspect, this truly is the remains of his ship, there could be much more treasure waiting to be uncovered. He was known to have raided a number of ships that were loaded with gold and silver, much of which has never been retrieved. Number 8. The Pulaski in 2018, the company Blue Water Ventures, along with Endurance Exploration Group, were finally able to recover the remains of the steamship Pulaski off the shores of North Carolina. The Pulaski went underwater on June 14, 1838, when one of the boilers of the ship exploded. The ship was traveling from Savannah, Georgia to Baltimore, Maryland, and over half of the passengers died. The ship went down extremely quickly, taking many lives and artifacts down with it. The dive team reported finding a chest full of rare gold and silver coins, along with many other treasures and relics from the past. One of the most exciting finds were several very expensive pocket watches, made out of gold with ornate etchings on them. At auction, they are expected to receive around $15,000. When the ship went down, it was estimated that passenger losses were around $150,000, so the team says that they have barely scratched the surface of valuable things waiting to be discovered. $150,000 from 1838 is over $4 million in today's money. There were quite a few wealthy passengers on that ship. Blue Water Ventures International says that the wreck of the Pulaski is a giant puzzle and they are working to put the pieces back together and recover valuable archaeological cargo and artifacts. Number 7. SS Central America The SS Central America sank off the coast of Carolina in 1857 when it ran smack into a hurricane. While that may sound common, the cargo was not. It was full of tons and tons of gold. 130 years later, in 1987, researchers had the technology to map and explore the sea floor, and that meant that finding shipwrecks got a whole lot easier. A research scientist named Thomas G. Thompson got tons of investors to help him finance his dive in search for the treasure. You'll want to remember his name, but not for the reasons you might think. His robot vehicle, Nemo, brought up more than $40 million in gold. But it turns out that American and British companies had already insured the ship's cargo over 100 years earlier, so they all decided to divide the treasure with almost all of it going to the companies. Later on, Thompson's investors slapped him with another lawsuit, claiming that he had never given them their share. The treasure hunter missed a court hearing and became a fugitive. While all of this was going on, Odyssey Marine Exploration was hired to professionally dive to the site. They found over 2,900 gold coins and 45 ingots, along with other artifacts and things of interest to scientists like worms that eat wood. You never know what you're going to find. Number 6. Neolithic Village While 2020 has had some bad news, this discovery should cheer you up. In July of this year, it was announced that archaeologists have found the remains of the oldest underwater site ever found in Australia. For the first time, archaeologists have discovered a preserved Aboriginal site dating back 7,000 years. While human history in Australia dates back at least 65,000 years, many of its archaeological sites are now underwater, making them harder to find, but hopefully keeping them safe. But why did all of Australia's archaeological sites move underwater? Well, we can blame the end of the Ice Age for that one. When the Ice Age ended some 12,000 years ago, about 33% of Australia's land was flooded. Marine archaeologists from Flinders University in Adelaide have been exploring the coast of Murujuga, also known as the Dampier Archipelago, in northwestern Australia, using all kinds of modern technology. And it paid off. 
At first, the team used LIDAR to scan the shallow areas, and after diving at a few sites with no success, they finally came upon one that revealed several stone artifacts, and then more, and more, with the divers eventually finding 269 of them. They were about 8 feet underwater, and they were probably used by early indigenous people for things like scraping, crushing, cutting, and hammering. One of them might have even been used to crush seeds to make bread. This discovery points to the fact that there are likely still tons of discoveries waiting to be found off the coast of Australia, and the team learned that material found on the sea floor can be discovered and analyzed as accurately as archaeology on land. Number 5. The Titanic The Titanic was declared unsinkable when it was first built, and it definitely wasn't. Today, their declaration of its unsinkability stands as a tragic testament to humanity's tendency to occasionally get a little too confident. All this time, it's been sitting at the bottom of the ocean. For a number of years, no one was able to find its decaying husk. But in 1985, a team of U.S. and French explorers put their heads together and solved the mystery of the location of the Titanic. U.S. naval officer and oceanographer Dr. Robert Ballard led the expedition using a robot fitted with a camera called the Argo. The team was beginning to lose hope until they finally spotted something. Argo sent a dim, grainy picture of a metal object, a giant boiler. After 73 years, the Titanic was found. Interestingly enough, Ballard had requested funding from the U.S. Navy for Argo. They weren't that excited about paying for searching for the Titanic, but the new robot could be used to search wrecks belonging to the Navy. They approved Ballard's request, but it was kept top secret since he was also supposed to be looking for two lost nuclear submarines at the same time. Thanks to Argo and another unmanned submarine, the team was able to document the wreck of the Titanic to piece together what had happened to the doomed ship. The Titanic lies 13,000 feet below the surface, where there is little light and little life. Since its discovery, it has been researched and studied with better technology, but this find remains one of the greatest discoveries of the modern era. While there may be countless personal items still in the ship, as the ship continues to decay, the race is on to recover a rumored 200 million pounds worth of diamonds. So far, only about 5% of valuable artifacts have been recovered, and while many think the ship should be left alone, the company that owns the salvage rights wants to look through the first-class luggage in the cargo hold, as well as bags where passengers may have stashed their valuables as the ship was sinking. Number 4. Roman Medicine Between the 1980s and 1990s, a group of divers from the Archaeological Superintendency of Tuscany traveled off the coast of Tuscany to excavate the remains of the Relito del Pozzino, which was a Roman ship that sank in the area at some point around 120 BC. It was quite hard to excavate carefully since it was covered in plants and the wood was pretty rotten, but they said it was worth the work because what they found was incredible. Inside of the ship, they uncovered the cargo. Most of it was ceramic vessels for wine, as well as glass cups and lamps from the Middle East and Asia. But the real shocker came in 2004, when they unearthed the remains of a medicine chest that was at least 2,000 years old. The actual container itself has long since deteriorated, but they found some surgical materials and over 130 wooden drug vials and tin containers along with other medicinal tools, all clumped together at the bottom of the ocean. When they looked closer, they also found medicine tablets or pills inside the tin. Amazingly, the tin container was sealed so no water had gotten in, even after 2,000 years. So we can actually see what Romans used as medicine. After a chemical analysis, it looks like the pills contained zinc compounds, iron oxide, starch, and various different kinds of plant materials such as pine resin. Researchers believe these tablets might have been used to treat eye diseases. We can't know how well these worked, but it's very rare to find physical evidence of these things from so long ago. Number 3. The Shedam In 2018, a storm disrupted the waters along the coast of Cornwall in the UK, leading to some amazing and dangerous objects being uncovered. Divers spotted artifacts in the water, which turned out to be hand grenades packed with gunpowder and cannons. Then the shipwreck was revealed. It was the Shedam a ship that had sunk off the Cornish coast in 1684. Once a pirate ship that had been stolen from the Dutch in 1683, it was recaptured by the Royal Navy and used to transport goods until it was sunk by a storm near Dollar Cove. The recent storm dislodged a number of artifacts, 
and two 17th century hand grenades made from a hollow iron shell and filled with gunpowder were also found on a nearby beach after having been washed ashore from the exposed wreck. Despite being damp and hundreds of years old, this triggered a response from the bomb disposal squad who had to investigate to ensure that local beachgoers were safe from any other objects that could have been found. Number 2. Ancient Mine just below the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, a group of divers were swimming around in an underwater cave in 2017, just exploring the area. But then, after a while, they came to a threshold. It was only a little over two feet wide, but it was an entrance into another world. As they peered inside, they discovered a large cave system that turned out to be an ancient mine. At first, these divers couldn't be sure what this site could have been used for, but that's where the scientists entered the picture. There were tools and hundreds of pits. Over the years, the sea levels rose, hiding the mine underwater. Experts dated some of the materials at the site to around 11,000 years ago, which means that this mine was worked by some of the earliest inhabitants of the Americas. Additionally, they were able to determine that the mine was likely used to extract red ochre pigments, which have been used for everything from art to sunscreen. These miners were in the Americas around 1,000 years before the Mayans ever declared the land their own. Archaeologists had found similar remains of these people deep inside of caves before, but they were never really sure why they decided to venture so deeply into the rocky underbelly of the Earth. But now, scientists can say that there is at least one reason that they decided to go there. They were trying to mine for this precious pigment, ochre, which has found a variety of uses throughout history and was very expensive. Number 1. Nuestra Señora de Atocha Considered the world's most valuable shipwreck, the Nuestra Señora de Atocha was loaded with tons of gold and silver taken from South America destined for Spain. In 1622, the ship, along with about 20 more, left port in Cuba when tragedy struck. A hurricane hit the fleet the following day, and eight of the ships were destroyed, including Our Lady of Atocha. This heavily armed galleon was sailing at the rear of the formation and was carrying 24 tons of silver, 125 gold bars, 180,000 pesos of silver coins, 350 chests of indigo, emeralds, tobacco, silverware, bronze cannons, and much, much more. For 60 years, the Spanish searched to recover the lost ship, but no luck. Hundreds of years later, treasure hunter and diver Mel Fisher searched for it for 16 years. During that time, clues started appearing. Silver bars marked with a special symbol, cannons, and the wreck of a sister ship. And then he found it. Since discovering the wreck in 1985, Fisher's company has recovered more than half a billion dollars worth of treasure, along with numerous historically important artifacts. Perhaps most interesting of all, though, is that there is still more of the ship yet to be found, including the Stern Castle, where the captain's cabin would have been, a place that's keenly sought after on all shipwrecks because it's where the most valuable of all treasures were kept. Thanks for watching! What do you think is the coolest underwater discovery? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!